Joining us now, a man who knows a thing or two about basketball, officiating it, and uh, the dynamics of what it takes to be a referee, Mike Littlewood, who is now also the head baseball coach at BYU. Coach, welcome back to Studio B. Thanks for having me. I'm glad I passed the first time, so yeah. try one more time. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that uh, whether you like it or not, you're coming back oh, every okay. week, okay? That's what I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job Monday against San Diego State. Yeah, great so, win. So we see Michael Rucker get to start the closing. Yeah. He throws seven scoreless innings. Yeah, wanted to throw world. eight. Wanted to throw eight, and we're like, you know, it's amazing. It's the first time this season we've we've actually scripted something, and it and it worked out exactly how we wanted it. Um, and I, I appreciate you guys talking about Monday and not Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because that was why, that was why what happened. We dropped a couple games uh, in San Diego to, to start off, but as bad as we played against San Diego, which is kind of a mental thing. I believe uh, we played tremendous against San Diego State, who's who, who's just as good, if, if not a better team. It's funny, San Diego can't beat San Diego State. So as we go into Monday, mm -hmm. um, Mike Rucker, who didn't get any innings in, in the weekend against San Diego, um, we kind of had, in fact, JT, Jeremy Thomas, my pitching coach, brought it up to me. Let's start him and just see how we can ride him a little bit. So I asked Mike, how many pitches would, would you be able to throw and come back Thursday and still close? And he said about 80. So... He threw 85, seven innings. Wow. Uh, shut out. It was Colton Mahoney's bullpen day because he's going to start Thursday. So we said we can put him in, but he can only throw 20 pitches. Anything over that's going to fatigue his arm and he won't be able to. He throws 15, and it worked out perfectly because Colton came in and threw against their leadoff guy, their first guy, their third, their first, second, and third guy in the lineup, and it worked out great. And then Keaton sent a Tampa, finished it off. It was it was perfect. It was a perfect day. Isn't it amazing awesome. when things go to plan? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, finally, something goes to plan. <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> Mike that's, and that's a nice win. Yeah, that's I'll, a nice win. Absolutely. Baseball America good win. ranks good 30, win. so they're 29th. That's a win yeah, it was a good win team. for us. What did that win on Monday over San Diego State uh, do specifically for your team, just looking at them and talking with them and their, their overall confidence after struggling so much against San Diego in a three-game series. Yeah, we, you know, we met after the San Diego series. We went back in a corner and just had, had a talk. You know, no yelling, no screaming, but, you know, guys, we're better than this type thing. And, and uh, why, why does this type of thing happen in, in athletics where we just get boat raced for two and a, two and a half games? I mean, if you look at the first game against San Diego, it's 2-1. In the fifth inning, we have a guy on second ba or first base that we're trying to move over with no outs and just and then we lose 7-1 and it and then it just gets out of hand from there. It's a mental thing clearly, but we had a good conversation and, and a lot of the, the juniors and seniors spoke up. Colt Mahoney, Dylan Robinson, Cole Willstead in that meeting. We were probably there a half an hour after the game and and just said, "Let's let's go back to when we played little league and have just have fun. You know, you guys are putting way too much stress on yourself. There's actually people that are working today, you know, doing real jobs and we're out here playing baseball. Let's let's kind of get back to that that uh, feeling and uh, we had a fireside Sunday night with, with a little bit of rest on, you know, kind of regroup mentally, and then came out Monday just um, with a renewed sense of commitment to what we were trying to do. Uh, big series this weekend in WCC play against uh, Portland, who's 1-8 and eight in conference, but uh, you're hoping to take three at home. What's the key maybe to this series this weekend? Getting off to a good start. Um, getting good starting pitching performances is big is really big for us and uh, if we end up moving Michael Rucker into the to a starting role then eventually then we'll do that it probably won't be this week just because he threw so many pitches on Monday but um, that's something that, that we're looking at mm. for us it's really important we lost Hayden Rogers um, who started for us last year left-hander out of the pen or he was out of the pen then started for us we lost him to a shoulder injury this year trying to work his way back we're not sure Austin Kamel we lost him a big lefty JC transfer and so it kind of going into the season, we thought, man, our pen's going to be awesome, and now it's just okay. Um, and so we we have to get seven innings out of our starter to to shorten up that pen just a little bit. So that's really what it's going to take. I mean, we're going to hit the ball here. Uh, Portland's got pretty decent pitching. Their record's not great, but they're always a team that just will come in and play hard and and do whatever they need to do to to, to beat you. BYU twelve and sixteen on the season. Getting back to that five hundred mark is. Is that something that you and your and your team talk about and think about? Because I mean, you started two and ten, so for you to be where you are, yeah, that's that's saying something, right? You know, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're playing, and I felt like we played well. Um, I guess you, you can take a game here or there where we haven't played well, um, or innings that we haven't played well. But overall, from start to finish, I feel like we played at a at a fairly high level. Um, we don't really talk about the five hundred mark a whole lot. We just talk about right now. We talk about 12 more wins in conference play should get us in the top four. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what we're looking at. doesn't matter who they're against, but we know we have to take care of business at home. You can't, you, you know, you can't lose a couple games of Portland at home 
and expect to be in, in, the, in the top four. That's just not going to happen. And then next week, uh, we talked about it last week, we play four of the top five teams in the first five weeks. We go to Loyola Marymount, who's really, really good next week. Uh, so it doesn't get easier, but we have to take care of business at home, no, no doubt about that. As a former NCAA men's basketball referee, do you know how to persuade or argue with the umpires better? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting. Probably not. Um, I, I, I've learned – when I was younger, I was, I was a crazy man. I mean, I've thrown bases. I've kicked stuff. I've, I've grabbed brushes out of umpires' hands and thrown them back to the screen. And, Rosin you know, bag grenades. It, you know, yeah, it's just like <laughs> I've acted like a fool in the past. But you get older, you get, uh, I guess, a sense of maturity and understand when to pick your battles. So I don't run out to first base every time on every close call. But um, – you know, I, I try to be more diplomatic now and talk to them maybe in between innings. And if there's something that we think they blatantly missed, the, the calls that are judgment calls, y you kind of just let those go because they're not going to change them a whole, a whole lot. Uh, it's, the, it's the rules things and, and interpretations that we try to, to make sure we go uh, have conversations about. But far less arguing now than, than when I was younger. And, and uh, so I don't think they're, they're going to change their minds anyway. When was the last time you were thrown out of a game? Um, it was – it was the last year I was at Dixie, um, and I pitched a fit, and um, <laughs> and I don't even remember why. I mean, I was on a roll there where there, there was about ten years in a row where I got booted every every you know, and it's just like it's the perceived pressure that you put on yourself to like this game means everything in the world, and so I've got to argue till the very end, and then see you later. <laughs> so you, you know, it, it's just one of those crazy things. But you kind of you learn you learn as a coach to just kind of take stuff, and we're, we're telling our team to be even keeled. And then uh, if we're not like that, you know, what kind of example is that? Not that I'm not ever going to get thrown out again, but uh, when you're in the dugout and your team's not playing well, and you get a bad call against you, or what you think is a perceived poor call. Things can get out of control in your head really quick. <laughs> <laughs> is there any uh, consequence for getting tossed as a BYU baseball coach? Um, From the other, like, hey, if you get tossed. No, not not necessarily. I think is, it depends on on what you do. I mean, if you're mm -hmm. out doing what you're talking about, the you know, pulling the language and pulling the the. Uh, <laughs> The rosin bag, the rosin is a bag and throwing it, yeah, and crawling around and throwing bases. <laughs> Embarrassing I mean, yourself on Sports Nation. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> uh, but I think if you just go out and argue and, and you get tossed for a reason, I mean, you're sticking up for your team. So never really had that conversation, and hopefully, hopefully, we don't have to have that one. Well, if you decide to do that uh, this weekend, just make sure that's on, on Thursday, Thursday or, or Friday. Friday <laughs> there we go. When those games are broadcast to a yeah. national audience. Saturday, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll try not to. Let's, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Mike Little with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, last week, you gave us an update on uh, some former Cougars and your son in spring training and, and what's going on there. Has anything else developed over the last week that uh, BYU Sports Nation should know about? Well, not really. My son got a couple more at-bats. Um, it'll probably be the last two at-bats he got. He, he faced Sergio Romo and grounded out back to him. And uh, he said he was just throwing – just like he was lobbing the ball up there at 87. But that's what every big league hitter, I think, thinks <laughs> while they're easy. walking back to the dugout. <laughs> so, <laughs> But he said it just, you know, like Bugs Bunny, you couldn't hit it. And then Erickson, um, who – Bryce Harper hit the home run off last year. He throws 100 miles an hour and, and struck out off him. Got in a 2-1 count. He said he got a 97-mile-an-hour fastball right down the middle and missed it, and then uh, good night with a slider. So, <laughs> But that great experiences, and they'll, they'll be assigned next week to where they're going to go. And, okay. and uh, you know, every, all of our guys will we'll know next week kind of where they're going. So your son Marcus is with the Seattle Mariners organization. Yeah, we're wondering about Brugman and Hanneman and Adam Law, so that, that yeah. all gets determined next week. It'll all get determined. And nothing in the, it, since we met last time has happened. I, I don't know if anybody – haven't heard that they got at-bats or anything. And right now it's pretty sparse. They'll bring a kid here and there just to get him a little bit of experience. And uh, But other than that, you know, the teams are pretty much settled. Jeremy and I have uh, had a couple of debates today. And uh, one of them is about the game of the year because the Y Awards is tonight. I don't know if you heard. We're you going to the Y Awards? Yeah, I'm going to the Y Awards. We're hosting. Are you still going to come? Uh, <laughs> we might seriously? need to throw in a, a Littlewood something. Yeah. Mike Littlewood. Uh, oh, if they brought Rubel back, I'd go. I'll call my wife and see if she's got other plans tonight. <laughs> We'll probably be there, <laughs> even, even though you guys are going to. Okay, notwithstanding. In spite of. Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, for, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Uh, Why Awards, game of the year. Okay, there are four games up for consideration here. BYU football at Texas, basketball at Gonzaga, uh, volleyball against Texas in the final four on the women's side, and like women's you, like basketball you against Gonzaga. On the one that you like. Uh huh. Most. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what What do you give the game of the year out of those four? I would have to say basketball, men's basketball at Gonzaga. Yeah, there's, my man, my man. Just because it, I mean, you look at the repercussions and and the 
just what that game got them. It got them in the tournament, basically, and to see what how good of a team they are. They're what they have eighty something wins, straight wins at home. I mean, it's pretty. I don't think anybody realizes how hard it is in college athletics to go on somebody else's field, court, whatever it is, and win. I mean, it just really is. It's an intimidating, the intimidation factor from the visiting team, the comfort factor from the home team. And pro ball's different. I mean, it's like those guys are professionals. They go all, it doesn't matter really where you play. Uh, but it, it, at the college level, home field advantage is, is just, um, it plays a huge part, really tough. Support your local troops. BYU Baseball on BYU TV Thursday and Friday. Dave McCann will be on the call with Gary Scheide on Thursday. I'll be on the call on Friday with Mr. Scheide as well. And you will hear Mike Littlewood in-game. His favorite part of every game it is. is talking to us during the game, right? <laughs> I wish we'd go longer. I mean, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sport to put up with that. Uh, Mike, great, great to have you in, in Studio B. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.